All right, welcome back to the Daily Mastermind. George Wright III here with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. How's your week going so far? Are you attacking your goals? Or are you dealing with some of the same cycles and issues that you have been dealing with in the past? The question is really, are you feeling like you're on track or do you feel stuck? I'm finding more often than not that most people are cycling through the same problems and these problems are almost entirely struggles with your mind. Sure, you know, the, the challenges and obstacles in life um, are, are, are going to be there, but most of them involve our mind and our perspective on the situations and challenges. So I want to focus today a little on hacks that you can use to break that cycle. And I feel like the daily battle with your mind is the battle that you have to win if you're going to live your best life. So recently I've had to deal with um, you know some, some super challenging situations of my own, and I've found that I go back and look to my mentors and lessons I've learned for advice, counsel, and answers. And so I want to share some of those with you here today. When I, when I start to struggle a bit, there are certain people, certain mentors that I go straight to based on what it is I'm struggling with, things that help me cope with and deal with those particular situations. And David Goggins is at, right at the top of the list. I mean, I, I want to start with him and, and give you some of his insights because David Goggins is well known for his ability to push past the normal limits of his body and the average person. And I find that this translates very effectively to your perceptions as well. Um, you know, David Goggins, he, he talks about uh, that most people live 40% of their best life. In other words, most people quit at about 40%. They quit their relationships, business, fitness goals, everything else that they're doing. He says it's like a car with a governor, which limits the speed that you can drive, right? The car can certainly go faster, but if you're in this car with a governor, it, it, it won't go fast because it's holding you back. The governor is actually slowing the car down and no matter how much you try, it won't go above that speed because it's designed to do that, much like a thermostat would do with the temperature. And this is what our brains are doing with us when we try to encounter or start to encounter difficulties in our lives. Our brains are designed to keep us safe. Their whole, their whole purpose is to keep us safe, comfortable, out of difficult situations, protect us. So, they, so it sends signals to us that make us want to quit, that make us want to slow down or go back to bed or walk away from a challenge. The problem is that usually our minds quit at about 40% of what we can handle. And I find this really crazy because our minds really are our greatest asset and our greatest tool to solve problems. But you start to realize that they're also our, our greatest weakness and our biggest enemy. And to make it worse, our minds know all of our dang weaknesses, and they know the language that, it, that it's got to throw out to make us slow down or doubt or, you know, have inconsistencies in our abilities, fear, basically make us quit. And your mind knows, it knows you better than anyone or anything in your life. But guess what? Believe it or not, you do control your mind. You're the driver of this amazing tool. You are not your mind. It's a tool. You're the driver. Um, the key is to not let go of the steering wheel. And that's what most of us do. What we do is we just we just lay back or we let our minds do what they want, and, and it basically shuts us down. It keeps us held back. And when you let go of the wheel and you let your mind wander enough times, you form habits of giving up, habits of being lazy, settling for less, and, and a mediocre life, 40%, right? You start to coast through life and you start to accept these challenges and cycles and situations as the norm. Now, how many of you feel like you might just be going through some of those motions right now or waiting, maybe waiting for the break in the storm or waiting for something to change or waiting for answers? Maybe, maybe you know, you do have the answers already. Maybe the answers are inside you. So why wait? So why does this happen? Why do we settle and give up on our our you know business relationships things that are we're struggling with in life well basically it's because we crave comfort and many times we see solutions to fix the problems um, but we quit because we don't recognize them but this is when you need to look to give ourselves a little bit more hope because you do have the answers the, sol the solutions that you have do lie inside you and and they're on the other side of quitting they're on the other side of that 40 percent you see the key to do what you need to do to be successful is to act in spite of your mood. Now, you know, think about it. Nobody wants to get up early in the morning. Nobody wants 
to, you know, set feelings and ego aside and work through challenging, you know, relationships and situations. None of us want to go to work or go do our side hustle at the end of a long day after working real hard. But the truth is, it's only at the 40% mark that we can truly create habits and find real solutions. It's at the point that our brain wants to quit that we actually become our most creative. You need to see that your best life lies inside the pain and past your comfort zone, past the 40%. Your your solutions are only gonna come to you when you're experiencing the difficulties. The brain, your mind is super resourceful. It's always good and it's always gonna find the solutions when you need it best, but it's also pretty tricky. It knows your weaknesses and it's gonna steer you towards comfort. Go back to bed, start Monday instead of today, give up, find a better opportunity, find a better relationship, find a better business. You know, there's an easier path. When you tell yourself that you're going to quit at 40%, the brain just shuts down. It stops looking for solutions. It wants to shut down. It wants the easy way out, but don't let it do that. Don't let it control you. You control your mind. This is when you need to tell yourself that I am not going to stop. I'm not going to give up. Tell yourself that you have no choice but to succeed and your brain will go to work finding a solution to what you're dealing with. It will find answers and it'll help you to find those creative ways to fix it. You know, Eric Thomas says uh, pretty famously, when you want to succeed as much as you want to breathe, that's when you'll be successful. So stop worrying about finding solutions to the problem and just start focusing maybe on not stopping not giving up, not hesitating, not doubting. When you do that, the solutions will come. This is going to be a daily battle in your mind, no doubt. You'll you'll have to develop habits, but just accept the fact that you'll be battling your mind throughout your life. Make it a challenge. Make it a game. Don't don't think of it as an overwhelming task, and this is where you're going to become productive. It'll be fun. It'll be fulfilling. It'll be success when you focus on the, the journey. Um, you know, you see, we, we, we've, we've been searching most of our lives for happiness and fulfillment in the wrong place. We spend all our lives wanting happiness, looking for it in places of comfort and ease and, 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 and a better life. And I know I have, right? Well, Goggins always, you know, says continually emphasizing that you won't find the toughness and the resilience and the fulfillment in the comfort zone, in your comfortable environment. This is why he challenges himself every day. He looks forward to being uncomfortable because that's where you're going to find your greatness and the best rewards in life. Learn to love the challenge. You know, science has even shown us that you can get small dopamine hits even with the small accomplishments, like overcoming a challenge or losing a couple pounds, not giving up on something. You'll get those dopamine hits even if you don't hit the ultimate goal. You don't need to get to the end goal to actually experience fulfillment. The dopamine that you get, you're going to get along the way. So victory lies inside the smallest steps, the smallest of accomplishments. And you need to remember that you're going to truly experience your best life and emotions by simply choosing to place yourself inside the battle. Place yourself inside discomfort. Let yourself get in and past that 40% mark where most people quit because that is where your greatness lies. Let me suggest a few ways that you can actually help yourself get past that point. Number one, Look, visualize what lies inside or beyond the battle that you're fighting. Um, Or learn to disconnect from the external need for fulfillment and the fulfillment emotions that you're looking for, you'll find already inside you. Um, Another way is to know that the most fulfillment truly comes from the emotions that we experience at the little moments of victory. That's why we say it's the little moments that count. Don't worry about just hitting the ultimate goal. Another thing is to visualize with clear and specific emotions. When you visualize what you're looking to accomplish with emotions, it becomes real. And that visualization technique is much, much more effective. Also, learn and discover what motivates you. Is it pictures? Is it music? Is it objects? Is it emotions? Is it people? Is it a train or a mentor? Find the things that motivate you and find a person or thing that can drive you. Maybe it's something to prove. Maybe it's somebody to take care of. Um, but find those things and those people that help to do that for you. And also use past failures to drive you and fuel you rather than hold you back. Change that perspective. And just remember, one more rep. One more rep. That's a perfect example of being at the 40% mark and then pushing it further. I think Ed Milet's the one that's got a new book out, um, The Power of One More, uh, or The Principle of One More. You know, you have to realize that 
you don't have to have a trainer, coach, or tools. You have the tools right inside you right now. Your mind can create the, the solutions as much as it's creating the problem, right? I've spent most of my life searching for a lot of that, the happiness, fulfillment, and joy, and rewards, and success. And what I've learned is that ultimately, we're all just seeking the emotions that um, these things or these benchmarks or these levels are going to give us. And the secret is that we can experience those emotions right now in the moment. Um, in overcoming the smallest challenges, you can experience those, not just at the end goal. You've already experienced happiness in your life. You know you have. So just visualize those moments and visualize and have small wins that bring those emotions back into your life. Learn to live past the six, the 40%. Learn to live in the gaps most people avoid. Learn to never quit on the things in your life and learn to value the daily battle in your mind. See it as an exercise in uncovering your greatness. Look forward to the battle because it brings you these things that you're looking for. Find ways to challenge yourself daily so that you can ultimately live the life that you're capable of living by pushing past that 40% level. Your brain will have the tools and solutions to help you and your thoughts do create your life. So that's my message for today. I hope it's something that can really inspire you to make some changes. It's never too late to start living the life that you are meant to live, but you've got to do the work and you got to be willing to work and live inside that, that pain, that obstacle, that, that, that uncomfortable place. And you'll see some results. That's the message for today. Have an amazing day. Do me a favor. Go check out our new, um, tools and resources over at the dailymastermind.com and and also hit me up on the daily mastermind on facebook and instagram love to hear what you're working on what you're struggling with what you've got and uh, we'll see what we can do to work together and, and help each other out i'll talk with you soon